All right, guys, so I'm going to try and break down the idea of dividing a whole number divided by a unit fraction. Again, unit fraction means when a fraction has a numerator of a one. And so in order to do this, I want you to kind of be thinking back to those um, fraction bins that we had. We had a bin of thirds and a bin of fourths and a bin of fifths. And sometimes if you can kind of picture using those as you're not using them, it might be helpful. The next thing I need you to remember is that we are working with number sentences and number sentences are just like regular sentences where you want to read them from left to right and kind of do what it says and so what this means is this whole number here is where we're starting our number sentence and this is the amount that we're starting with so i'm going to use circles i know in the book they use rectangles but i'm only using circles because our fraction pieces were circles and it might help you make the connection a little bit um, but sometimes if you're doing it on your own end it's easier to break and think about squares in terms of breaking them down into fractions. But I'm going to go ahead and use circles. So I'm starting with three of something. So let's just say we're starting with three cookies, okay? And the idea here when you're dividing by a unit fraction is here, this is like us dividing. Now, I think I want you to think about dividing in this um, situation as sharing, all right? So you have three cookies and you're actually going to share them with people. And you're going to give each person one half of a cookie. And so you want to figure out how many people are going to get one half of a cookie. Well, if you think about just one cookie, I know that if I split one cookie in half, you can see that I have one half here and one half here, which means if I only had one cookie, I can give one person one half and I can give another person another half. So you can see with just one cookie, I can give two people half of a cookie, but I don't just have one cookie. I have three cookies, which means I can give two people one this half and one this half from this second cookie. And I can give two people one half here and one half here. So you can see with one cookie, I was able to give half to two people. But if I have three cookies, then I can give half to two plus two plus two or three times two, which is six. Now, I'm going to ask you to keep your eyes open for a pattern here as I go through my examples. Three times two. Now, I know this isn't a multiplication problem. This is a division problem but you're gonna see a kind of a pattern going on here. So let's take a look at another one. Two divided by one fourth. So that means we are starting with two of something. We'll think about cookies. And we're gonna divide or share these cookies. And we're gonna give people pieces that are one fourth big. So the first thing that I need to do is I need to cut my first cookie into fourths. We know we can make four of these fourths. And so I'm going to be able to give one, two, three, four. I'm going to be able to give four different people one fourth size pieces from this cookie. But I don't have one cookie. I have two. So I'm going to do the same thing with this cookie. I'm going to divide it into fourths because that's my denominator of my unit fraction. And I can give one person this fourth and one person this fourth and one person this fourth and one person this fourth. So with my second cookie, I can give another four people each one fourth of a cookie. And so I'm able to give four people one fourth from the first one and four people one fourth from the second one, which is a total of four plus four or two times four, which is eight. And again, I'm just going to show you that you have that same pattern here. Two times four got us our answer of eight. All right, let's look at one more. We have four divided by one. So what that means is I'm starting with four of something. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to divide or share my cookies. And I'm going to share them by giving people one fifth of a cookie. Now, I'll be honest, dividing a circle into five equal pieces is not easy. So instead, I'm just going to think. I know that if I'm going to divide this first cookie into five fifths, and I'm going to give each person one fifth, that means I can give five people pieces from this cookie, 
right? One fifth each, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, five fifths is the whole cookie. So I can give five people, draw my little person there, it's a little person. I can give five people pieces from this cookie, but I only have one cookie. I have four cookies. So I can get five people pieces from this cookie that are each one fifth big and five people from this cookie and five people from this cookie. Again, what we had, and again, it's hard to do, so I'm going to try. We got one, two, yep. There's my, that's totally not equal groups. I told you this was hard, but you can see one whole is five fifths and I can give one person one fifth and another person a fifth and another person a fifth and another person a fifth. And all together I can give five people one fifth pieces, which is what I'm doing. I'm sharing these one fifth pieces. So you can see if you wanna know how many people are gonna get one fifth pieces all together, you can see I have five plus five plus five plus five or four times five, which is 20. And again, going back to that pattern that we saw with how do we do this, you can see four times five right there. So if I kind of make a little problem here, let's try three divided by, I'll use the unit fraction one eighth. All right, now before I even draw my picture, just using the pattern that I did, we should really be able to figure out what the answer is because I have three times my denominator, which is eight, which is 24. So I'm gonna tell you why the answer is 24. I have three cookies and I'm basically going to share, that's what this division symbol means, one eighth pieces to each person. So I know that one whole can be broken down into eight eighths. So I can give one eighth to eight different people. So I can give this to eight different people, one eighth to eight different people. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one and the same thing for this one. And again, three times eight is 24. I know that this is a hard concept. Dividing fractions in general is tough to kind of picture in your mind. Um, but basically what you're doing is you're taking three whole circles and you're chopping them up into one eighth pieces and you wanna figure out how many one eighth pieces would it take? How many one eighth pieces would you have that you can share? So hopefully this helps just a little bit. And if it doesn't watch it again, maybe it will click. 